exactly how you would walk up the mall, but it's not costume and it's not fashion, it's a beautiful blend of all of those things. To me, wearable art is a statement on the body. It's not fashion, it's about creativity that makes you think. Wearable arts to me is an expression. Just pushing the extremes. It's taking art, using your imagination and just going for it. It's the freedom of expression and creativity. Just an incredible community. It's not just Western Australia, you know, there's artists from everywhere. The gown is Muabilia, Deception and Love Story. The Getting of Wisdom, and it's made from a lot of floristry bits and pieces, and obviously Christmas rejects. <laughs> Whispers garment is based on a 3,500 year old mummy. I'm Paul O'Connor. I've been involved in wearable art now for two years. I'm one of the judges. My name's Carolyn Marks and I'm the curator of Contemporary Art Spaces Mandra. I'm looking at something that's very visually strong, that has great structural form. When you paint a canvas and it's on a wall, it's fixed, it doesn't move. Whereas when you put it on the body, it's got to work with the body. When they walk through the door and you go, yep, this is, they've got it. I always like a bit of a wow factor. And I also like something that makes me kind of smile, either on the inside or it might just sort of blurt out of my mouth. Something that engages with me somehow. I'm looking for the, the link between the artist's vision and story. What has the artist thought about in order to get where, they, where, they, the, where they've taken it? How have they used the fabric or the metal or the whatever, tyres, we've seen all sorts of things today. How have they used that to make their piece say what they wanted their piece to say? Mm -hmm.